Hello, this is Kalotron Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. In the last episode, guys, we came down below the bedrock where we are now, ran into some giant mobs, and encountered a weird kind of tribal mob gang. Like, it was some weird tribal people with mob hats on their heads, and after all of those shenanigans, we kind of lost Jack, who may or may not be dead right now, and ended up here. And today, we're just going to be carrying on from where we left off, and exploring around this area. So, if you like the sound of that, please make sure to drop a like on the video if you really enjoy. Please make sure to share and subscribe. But anyway, let's start off by talking to Kent. Hello, Kent. What are you doing with that book so... there? So, you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. What is that guy's deal? He's just like, ha, hello. I've just met you, but now I already hate you. I don't, I, I despise you. You suck. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I do what you ask. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna hurt you, dude. Backing away, nice and non-threatening. Okay, so she is still as scared of us as when we entered last episode, and now I think she's probably going to stay like that until we do something that proves we're trustworthy. But let's go over and talk to Hilda here. Hilda, who looks like she's mining dirt with her hose. It's a really weird way to farm that way, Hilda. Just a thought. And. Um. Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, how did you? His favorite tool, a diamond hoe. That's why I use two. Ah. I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Cool. Makes sense. Okay. So. Uh, bye. If you see in the top corner of the screen there, it popped up with, like, you learned a fact about Fred, so, or a Fred fact or something, so, apparently he likes using the most, the, the biggest use of, the biggest waste of diamonds in Minecraft, a diamond hoe, because basically, you can just use any hoe and they're kind of useless, but, let's talk to Petra. What are you... What's on her mind? Uh huh? Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well... A trivia puzzle? Just in case. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We can always dig in from the bottom. Although this isn't regular Minecraft, so nothing really makes sense. And what's this dead bush doing here? In a nice place like this? Poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful though. Yeah, we can probably get some sticks for it. That's usually what we do from the with these in this kind of game, so. Let's take nice. you. Ooh, two sticks. Sometimes it only gives you one. Yeah, we got two to six from that and let's go look at look at the little puppy. Hello puppy. You are wow, you are really cute. You are. What should I do with it? Oh. I don't know what to do with it. Should I play fetch with it? Should I I'm gonna I'm gonna pet him first. Oh, you're, oh. you're a good dog. He is so cute. Oh, we can play tug of war with him. That's a nice idea. It's, it just, it's just giving you a lot of little, a lot of options to go with this puppy. Now playing fetch with him. Oh, he's just so cute. I don't know what to do with him now. We're kind of just playing with him. Oh man, you are a serious fetch artist. He is. I. How, why would I fake him out? Oh, that's mean. I should have get, should let him get the bone, but I don't know what to do now. What should I? What's he gonna do? Ah, I guess I should just leave with the bone. Right. Anyway, Brocco, your name is. I had fun playing with you. You're a cute little doggy too. Maybe we'll need him to do something after we've talked to, um, Binta, her name is. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? 
Uh, not just yet. Uh, not yet. Not quite yet. I'm gonna go look around the campfire. I don't know. Maybe there might be something there. And maybe. Oh, here's a picture of Fred. He looked cool. So that's Fred, huh? I like Fred. He certainly looks better than the other admins do. Like. Oh, and here's Wonder. Would like to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty Aww. stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Good idea. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft okay. me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. Okay. You know, I can guess it's I blue. some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done okay. prompt like I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. Okay. So we need to go make a, a painting, I think. So we have we have wait. I think we managed to get six sticks from that dead bush. Either that, or we already had some sticks on us. So I think now we just need to look around for a crafting table somewhere. Hopefully, we should be able to find some one somewhere. Oh, here it is. But. Maybe we should talk to a couple other people first, like, there's, okay, there's only one other person. Let's talk to Willie finally before we make this canvas for the person. Hey, what are you up to, Willie? Looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name, never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? <sighs> this is where we use a dog. We used a dog to lure him over there to try and get wa I don't warm the chicken. To make anything. Apparently, we don't have enough materials to make anything, but you know, we need some more stuff to make a canvas. I don't understand. Well, maybe we could go back to the woman and she'll just make the canvas. Maybe we could do that. And yes, here it is. We can send her after the chicken. Hey, dear little guy, I got a game for you. Yeah? Go first, your chicken. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Yes. Dog! What are you- Oh no! Waffles! Waffles! Come back! Come back! Uh, that's his name. It's Waffles the Chicken. Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. Huh? I like that chicken. But, okay, I think now we just need to go back and we could... Let's just pick up this bone quickly. We might need it in the in the future for something. Just a thought, really. Yep. Take this and just walk off with it. Oh, no. It just gets the dog back here. Well, I guess we should just leave it then. I didn't expect that to happen, but, okay. Let's go talk to that other person now. The foot painter. Where is she? She's right here. Hello, Wanda. I have some materials for you. That canvas done? Uh, not yet. Don't you waste those resources I gave you. Sacrificed my hands to get them. Wow. That's some big sacrifices, but... How do we make the canvas? Do we use it here, or...? I don't have enough materials to make anything. Really, Jesse? What do we have? How do we bring up our inventory? Is it like, it's not pause. I can't manage to see how much we have in our inventory. Can we go to any of these houses anywhere? Is there, is there something that I'm missing? There's, there's Binta I can talk to, but she just asked me if I wanted to go for a quiz, but, oh, I didn't see these guys over here. Hey, Radar. <laughs> Um, like water nice moves. In a bucket, ha, becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Uh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, Watching. Sure. you ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? You have Probably. No what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm gonna be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kinda scary sometimes. 
Yes, I am. I need to sk be scared to scare off the bad people. There's one thing I learned in the Slammer. It's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. <sighs> wow, that's mighty impressive, right, huh? <sighs> Weight resistance, you know? <sighs> wow, that is serious, right, Teddy? <laughs> Having a massive animal on your back. That bird. Oh, feel it. I'm feeling it. Feel it. That would. That would be killer to have that at you. Anyway, let's get this dead bush, and then I think we'll be able to make a painting for the woman. So let's go. Definitely use these. Yep. Now let's just. Yep. We have enough sticks, so let's just look over the crafting table. Go to use it, make this painting, and then we'll have enough Fred facts, so we can hopefully go for the quiz. So we're in the crafting table. Time to make a painting. Yes. We got. We got our sticks. Just put them around in a circle. Here we go. Yes, we're making a painting, guys. Finally, for wonder, so we can have our very own. So we can actually know what Fred's favorite color is. And now, painting. Hey, presto. There we go. Here you go. All done. Yes. It's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis ah. Blue. His favorite color is lapis blue. Oh, my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting fact from Jesse. I did not need to know that. Anyway, I think that would probably have enough facts for the Fred, the Fred fact trivia contest. So let's have it. Let's take a go at this. We are ready for the contest, Bintar. Are you ready to begin? Yes, Bintar, we are. I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. I bet I can beat you. everyone. Kent Let or all faithful friends Kurt gather. Or Clark or whatever his name is. Begins now. Really? As soon as we're ready? That's a bit weird. Gather around, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion Kent. And we have a ah, challenger. It's Kent. Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! Jesse versus Kent. That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. I'm not intimidated, you old man. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Can't be my best friend! Nice try. No. Taking you down. I like that subtle way of putting him down. I'm down by you? Yes, you better believe it, sonny boy. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. Okay. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin! Okay. So now we have a building contest? Okay. Um, let's... No, okay. How do I want to do this? I think let's just go straight in with some... How do I do this? Uh, okay. Yeah. Move around. Let's get some blue clay for his face. Let's get this going along here. And... Then we can add in, let's just make a big face first, and then we can add some stuff in at the end. So, let's see, how high can we build here? Uh, if I go up, how high? Is this the limit? I'm there, I'm almost there. Okay, that, that is the limit there, so let's take this off a bit, and build that little thing on the top of his head, whatever that is. Um, looks like it's black, so let's just add it here. It's like this weird thing on my bob. Like that, I think. I think that looks like him. Is that what it? Yeah, that's what that's what it looks like. So, we'll leave that in there. And actually, no, it goes down one level lower as well. So, um, actually, you know what? Let's just leave it like that. Have that little bit there as his nice thing, and then we can have some eyes for him, like here and here. So, let's go along here. Get some red, red eyes, and then have some white underneath it, see what that looks like, and I placed that in the wrong place, so, actually no, I think these are in the wrong place anyway, so let's put these white on top, and then put some red underneath, what does this look like, that looks funny, that looks nice, and then we add a little mouth at the bottom, so to make it a smiley face, one, two, no, well, three at the, the bottom, and then fill back in this blue clay, 
and add in two more blocks and there we go smiley face Fred that's what we're doing oh that, that looks ridiculous but it looks fine it looks fine uh, wait let's add a tiny bit more detail and then we can be done with this thing so add in that and then get some more blue clay right beside here so build it up like this one more one more bit of detail just on the other side there we go yeah that is Fred everyone that is Oh, we've done this terribly. Let's just make one final adjustment. Move around this a bit, move around the eyes a bit since we've widened the face. So, let's move these out, then get his eyes in the centre with the white either side. So, here we go. Red and white. That looks better. Say hello to Fred. I love this thing. Yes, it is perfect. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. It is. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred Street. Yeah, I probably could have built anything and they just would have said the same thing. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. Nice. Pretty cool. I declare this round. To me. Oh. This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Yay! Now that means we're better than everyone else. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Okay. Hey, you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. Lapis blue. But what? It's lapis blue. Did he love the most? Your time begins now. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Thank you, Wanda, for telling us that information. Next question, Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? Diamond hoe. He's gonna get this wrong. Oh. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine fat. Waffles the chicken. What was that pet's name? Waffles. He actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Yes! Well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Ooh. You might finally lose your title. Ooh, I love seeing how angry like that. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. It's gonna be about the admins. It is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with. Birch. Was Fred's favorite. I can see in his house. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. There was a picture of it in his house I saw. Wrong. It's Birch. It's Birch. You yes. 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 I saw the picture in his house. Fred's favorite. We won. Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. No, you aren't. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Where we will find the ultimate weapon! Contents. And here are your sleeping garments. <gasps> Fred's clothes! The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. I want to spare Ken's feelings, but I want those clothes more. Ken's probably had them a load before, so it's not it's not too bad. Oh, he's in a total breakdown, but he wants to jerk to us earlier. Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you, Bintar. Ah. So there we have. Lapis, a chicken, and yeah. Huh. 
kind of cozy. It does look cozy. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? So I guess we're just gonna have a really quick look for this weapon then. I know. Let's jump on Fred's bed quickly. Jumping on his bed. Mind if I just. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just having to jump on his bed and. I think, yeah, in the background of that cutscene, we saw a, 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 a well, painting of Birchwood or something. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. Wow. Fred was a bookworm then. Nice. So, what else is it? Yeah. Diamond Toe. This is bed again. Nothing really much around here. Is there anything? Sh should we look in this furnace? Empty. No one's used this thing for a long time. Okay, that's just to show us that no one's used that for a long time and this house has been unoccupied for a long time. Nothing in here now. Except that button. I bet you that's gonna lead us somewhere that's gonna be where the weapon is. Let's push it. It's a... Yes! Whoa, secret room! I like Fred already. Even though we've never met him and he's already dead. I like his style. There be something down here. There has to be. Oh, it's a map of the world. What's this? Okay, so there's Bomeoberg. No, oh, Romeo. This is this is a map of where all the admins used to live. There was Romeoberg, Fred's Keep, where we are now, and then the Oasis, which was um, Zara's place. So let's just have a quick peek at it. Three towns. There's the Oasis there and the Keep. Third is Romeoberg. Seriously, what kind of name is Romeoberg? That's right. I, it does sound like, like, a, like a quite a terrible name, but is there anything around here we can use? Oh, there might be a book in here. What, might this tell us something interesting? This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. And it goes on. Signed by the Chief. I wonder who the Chief is. Eh, let's just put the book back. Anything... Is a weapon here somewhere? Ooh, there's, there's a book that's out in the open. This must mean he's reading it, and it's important. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. What is this? That... This is Fred's journal. <gasps> Interesting. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. What's the cabin? We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. The cabin. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. The cabin must be where the secret weapon is. That's the info we find out from here, I think. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Maybe. But hopefully there's a save point soon, because we are getting on with the episode. Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. What is it, Benton? Uh, Hurry up, quickly. How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... Well... Oh, before apparently Zara told us. Underneath. I saw a picture in the Zara painting. Told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in... Fred's Zara. The yes. Zara. Yes. One and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. Oh, we saw her. Than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. We are. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. They're yeah, right. they're right. Recognized down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon a clue to it i don't know why fred would have one not the weapon exactly but some promising clues romeo zara and fred had a cabin that they called home we need to find it romeo did they say romeo the admin yes the admin right now he's in our town pretending to be me we need to stop him the problem is we don't know where the cabin is i want to help you but there's something I need from you in return. Okay, what is it? If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. 
above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And, and if Romeo... Romeo trapped us down here. We'll help you. We'll help stay, you, Binta. I won't give him the satisfaction. You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Wow. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. You want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> Passed away because of Romeo. The needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. Okay, we'll take you it. Uh, we'll take this. it, Binta. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. We will. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Okay, see you, Binta. Hopefully Where we did... should be able to run up the episode now. Hey, give that back. <gasps> Luna, why? Why you take our compass? Ugh, thanks. Naughty llama. Anyway, so I think now we're on our way, so... Yeah. Now they're celebrating and we can see our goofy little friend in the background there. So guys, I think we're probably going to get to a save point in a second, so if you did enjoy this episode, watching us do the Fred fact quiz and exploring Fred's house, then please make sure to drop a like on the video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to subscribe Man, I can't and share this video with your friends. But thanks for watching. This has been Kayla John Plays, so and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Really that different from you with Jesse?